everyone welcome to akriti art of mathematics simple mathematics classes i am sudhir mk in this class i am going to discuss about types of matrices and this is matrices class 2 please subscribe the channel for more video notification now first type column matrix a matrix having only one column is called column matrix in a matrix if you have only one column then it is called as column matrix we consider example suppose we consider a equal to 9 0 minus 4 Now here we have three rows and only one column. That is three horizontal arrangement and only one vertical arrangement. So here vertical arrangement is only one. That is number of column is only one. So therefore this is called as column matrix. This matrix has three rows and one column. So therefore order is three by one. Since this matrix has only one column, this is called as column matrix. So next type it is row matrix. A matrix having only one row is called row matrix. In a matrix, if there is only one row, then it is called as row matrix. So we consider one example: a equal to two minus six, one five. Now here order is one by four. That is, this matrix has only one row and four columns. So that is only one horizontal arrangement and four vertical arrangements. That is, number of rows is only one. So therefore, this matrix is called as row matrix. That is, a matrix having only one row is called as row matrix. The next one is square matrix. A matrix having equal number of rows and columns is called as square matrix. So in a matrix, if number of rows and number of columns are same, then it is called as square matrix. So next we consider example. Suppose you consider a equal to 108 minus 72 minus 3, 67 minus 1. For this matrix, order is 3 by 3. So here we have three rows and three columns. So therefore, number of rows and number of columns are same. So this matrix is called as square matrix. This is square matrix. So since number of rows and number of columns are same, so this is called as square matrix. A square matrix having order n by n is known as square matrix of order n. Suppose in a matrix, if you have n rows and n columns, then we call it as square matrix of order n. No need to write it as n by n matrix. Just we write it is a square matrix of order n. So n by n matrix is called as a square matrix of order n. So consider example. So here we have a equal to 108 minus 72 minus 3 and 67 minus 1. This is square matrix of order 3 by 3, and we call this matrix as of order Three. So this is a square matrix of order three. So since this has three rows and three columns, so this is three by three matrix. In general, we call this is a square matrix of order three. So order three means it has three rows and three columns. So next, in a square matrix, a equal to a i j of order n. The element a one one, a two two, etc., a n n form the diagonals and are called as diagonal elements. So in a square matrix, we have a one one, a two two, a three three, a four four, etc. So they form a diagonal, and only that elements are called as diagonal elements. And this is possible only in square matrix. In square matrix, a11, a22, a33, etc., they form a diagonal and are called as diagonal elements. These elements are in the diagonal from left top to right bottom. So we consider example. Suppose you consider a square matrix of order three. So a equal to a11, a12, a13, a21, a22, a23, a31, a32, a33. Now here a11, a22, a33. These are called diagonal elements, and these elements are from left to top to right bottom. And these elements are called as diagonal elements. So a11, a22, a33. These are diagonal elements in this matrix. This is a square matrix of order three, and here a11, a22, a33 are diagonal elements. So next, consider one more example. Consider a equal to 108 minus 72 minus 3, 67 minus 1. So this is also a square matrix of order three, and here one two minus one. So here one two minus one are diagonal elements. So here one two minus one, that is elements from left top to right bottom diagonal. So that is one two minus one. These are called as diagonal elements. So next it is diagonal matrix. So next type of matrix is diagonal matrix. A square matrix with all its non-diagonal elements are zero is called diagonal matrix. In a square matrix, if all non-diagonal elements are zeros, then it is called as diagonal matrix. So here, diagonal elements may be anything, but non-diagonal elements should be zero. So all non-diagonal elements should be zero. Then that square matrix is called as diagonal matrix. A square matrix with all its non-diagonal elements are zero is called as diagonal matrix. So consider example. So here, a is a square matrix of order three. Now here, a equal to four zero 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 six zero. 0 0 all non diagonal elements are zero so in diagonal we have some numbers but all non diagonal elements are zero this type of matrix is called as diagonal matrix diagonal matrix should be square matrix in which non diagonal elements are zeros 
again consider one more matrix a equal to 9 it is a square matrix of order 1 so this is also a diagonal matrix a equal to 9 it is a square matrix of order 1 so this is also a diagonal matrix so this matrix is also a diagonal matrix next one note here in diagonal matrix a ij equal to 0 and i is not equal to j that is a11 a22 a33 etc they are not zero a12 a13 a21 a23 etc that is when i is not equal to j all the elements are zero so diagonal elements are not zero so other elements are zero that is a ij equal to 0 when i is not equal to j so in diagonal matrix a ij equal to 0 when i is not equal to j so we consider one example suppose you consider a 3 by 3 matrix a equal to a11, a12, a13, a21, a22, a23, a31, a32, a33. If this is a diagonal matrix, then aij equal to 0 when i is not equal to j. That is, a12 should be 0, a13 should be 0, a21 should be 0, a23 should be 0, a31 should be 0, and a32 should be 0. That is, when i is not equal to j, aij should be 0. That is, that element should be 0. Then only this is called as diagonal matrix. That is, in diagonal matrix, aij equal to 0 for i is not equal to j. All diagonal matrices are square matrix. So important, all diagonal matrices are square matrices. So next type is scalar matrix. Now what is scalar matrix? A diagonal matrix with equal diagonal elements is called scalar matrix. So scalar matrix is a diagonal matrix in which all the diagonal elements should be same. So it should be a square matrix in which non-diagonal elements should be zero and diagonal elements should be same. A diagonal matrix with equal diagonal elements is called scalar matrix. So next we consider one example. Suppose you consider A equal to 700, 070, 007. So this is a diagonal matrix in which all the diagonal elements are same. That is all diagonal elements are equal and this is called as scalar matrix. So scalar matrix is a diagonal matrix in which all the diagonal elements are same. Or scalar matrix is a square matrix in which all the diagonal elements are same and non-diagonal elements should be zero. It is a square matrix in which all diagonal elements are same and non-diagonal elements are zero. The first scalar matrix should be a diagonal matrix and it should be also a square matrix. So next concern B equal to matrix 5. It is a square matrix of order 1. This is also a scalar matrix. So next concern one note. In a scalar matrix, aij equal to 0 when i is not equal to j and aii equal to k for some constant k. Now here aij equal to 0 that is when i is not equal to j. So aij equal to 0 and aii equal to k that is all diagonal elements a11, a22, a33 that should be some constant k. So but aij equal to 0 when i is not equal to j. Suppose you consider one example, a equal to a11, a12, a13, a21, a22, a23, a31, a32, a33. This is a square matrix and this square matrix is scalar matrix if aij equal to 0 when i is not equal to j. That is a12, a13, a21, a23, a31, a32. So here i is not equal to j. So therefore all these elements should be 0 and aii equal to k that is diagonal elements a11 a22 a33 all are equal and equal to some constant k so this type of matrix is called as scalar matrix so scalar matrix is a diagonal matrix in which all the diagonal elements are same all scalar matrices are diagonal matrix all scalar matrix should be diagonal matrix all scalar matrix is also square matrix all scalar matrices also square matrix so next type is unit matrix or identity matrix. A diagonal matrix with all diagonal elements are 1 is called as identity matrix. So in a diagonal matrix, if all the diagonal elements are 1, then it is called as identity matrix. Unit or identity matrix also defined as it is a scalar matrix with all diagonal elements are 1. That is a scalar matrix with all diagonal elements are 1 is also called as identity matrix. In scalar matrix, if all diagonal elements are 1, then it is called as unit matrix or identity matrix. In scalar matrix, all diagonal elements are equal and other elements are 0. If all diagonal elements are 1, so then it is called as unit matrix or identity matrix. So we can define unit matrix and identity matrix also. A square matrix with all its diagonal elements are 1 and non-diagonal elements are 0. It's called identity matrix. So in a square matrix, if all the diagonal elements are 1 and non-diagonal elements are 0, then it is also called as identity matrix or unit matrix. So we can define unit matrix or identity matrix like this. That is a square matrix with all its diagonal elements are 1 and non-diagonal elements are 0. It's called identity matrix. We denote identity matrix or unit matrix by I. So identity matrix or unit matrix is always denoted by I. 
So we consider some examples. Suppose you consider i equal to 1. So this is an identity matrix of order 1. Here we have 1 in diagonal. So therefore, this is identity matrix of order 1. This is an identity matrix of order 1. So since this matrix has only one row and one column, so this is an identity matrix of order 1. So next we consider i equal to 1, 0, 0, 1. So it is an identity matrix of order 2. Here we have two rows and two columns and all diagonal elements are 1 and other elements are 0. Therefore, this is identity matrix of order 2. Here, all diagonal elements are 1 and other elements are 0. Therefore, this is identity matrix of order 2. So next we consider identity matrix of order 3. So here we have 3 rows and 3 columns and all diagonal elements are 1 and non-diagonal elements are 0. Therefore, this is identity matrix of order 3. This is square matrix of order 3 where all diagonal elements are 1 and non-diagonal elements are 0. Therefore, this is identity matrix of order 3. So identity matrix of order 3 is always written like this. It is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 1. So next consider one node. So in identity matrix aij equal to 0 when i is not equal to j and aii equal to 1. So here all diagonal elements are 1 and other elements should be 0. That is aij equal to 0 when i is not equal to j. That is a12, a13, a21, a23 these elements are 0 and aii that is a11, a22, a33 all are 1. So that is all diagonal elements are 1 and non-diagonal elements are 0. Suppose you consider example, suppose you consider A equal to A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, A32, A33 and this is a identity matrix only when Aij equal to 0 when i is not equal to j that is A12, A13, A21, A23, A31, A32 it should be zeros and all AII that is A11, A22, A33 it should be 1 that is diagonal element should be 1 and other element should be 0 that is AIJ equal to 0 when i is not equal to j that is here i and j are not equal and in diagonal i and j are equal so therefore A11, A22, A33 it should be 1 and other element should be 0 so then it is called as identity matrix and it is denoted by i. All identity matrix are scalar matrix. So all identity matrix are scalar matrix and all identity matrix is also diagonal matrix. All identity matrices are diagonal matrices. Next type, it is zero matrix or it is null matrix. So next it is zero matrix or null matrix. A matrix with all its elements are zeros is called zero matrix. If all the elements of given matrix is zero, then it is called as zero matrix or null matrix. So null matrix is always denoted by capital O. So we denote matrix by capital letters. So we denote null matrix by capital O. So therefore null matrix is denoted by capital O. So consider one example O equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That is all the elements of 0. So order is 2 by 4. So this matrix has 2 rows and 4 columns. This is a null matrix or 0 matrix of order 2 by 4. If all the elements of a given matrix are zeros, then it is called as zero matrix or null matrix and it is denoted by capital O. So next type is triangular matrix. So now what is triangular matrix? A square matrix having elements below or above the diagonal elements are zeros is called triangular matrix. If all the elements above or below the diagonal are zeros, then it is called as triangular matrix. So consider example a equal to 7, 6, minus 3, 0, 8, 1, 0, 0, 4. Here all the elements below the diagonal are zeros. So therefore this is called as triangular matrix. In triangular matrix we have two types. So first one is upper triangular matrix. So we say what is upper triangular matrix? A square matrix having elements below the diagonal elements as zero is called upper triangular matrix. In a square matrix if all the elements below the diagonal elements are zeros then it is called as upper triangular matrix. So we have numbers in diagonal and above the diagonal and other elements are zeros this type of matrix is called as upper triangular matrix that is in a square matrix if all the elements below the diagonal elements are zeros that is if you have some numbers like this then it is called as upper triangular matrix this matrix a is 7 6 minus 3 0 8 1 0 0 4 is a upper triangular matrix we have zeros below the diagonal so in upper triangular matrix a i j equal to 0 for i is greater than j now here a 1 1 so here i and j are equal so a 1 2 so i is 1 j is 2 so it is not 0 so here it is a 1 3 so i is 1 j is 3 so these elements are not 0 so here a 2 1 so a 2 1 means i value is 2 j value is 1 so a 2 1 i value is more than j so therefore this is 0 so and this is a 2 2 i and j are equal so therefore this is also not equal to 0 
so this is a 2 3 so here i value is 2 j value is 3 so 2 is less than 3 so that is i value is less than j so therefore this is not equal to 0 this element is a 3 1 so here i value is 3 j value is 1 so here i value is more than j so therefore this element is 0 and this is a 3 2 so here also i is 3 j is 2 so therefore this element is 0 and this is a 3 3 i and j are equal so it is not equal to 0 so here a i j equal to 0 and i is greater than j so that is a 2 1 a 3 1 a 3 2 all are 0 and other elements are not 0 so this type of matrix is called as upper triangular matrix so next type is lower triangular matrix a square matrix having elements above the diagonal elements are zeros is called as lower triangular matrix so in a square matrix if all the elements above the diagonal elements are zeros then it is called as lower triangular matrix here we have numbers in diagonal side lower side of the diagonal so consider example a equal to 400 210 now here we have zeros above the diagonal elements so here we have numbers in the diagonal and lower side of the diagonal so therefore this is called as lower triangular matrix so here we have zeros above the diagonal this type of matrix is called as lower triangular matrix so here a is a lower triangular matrix in lower triangular matrix a i j equal to 0 when i is less than j now here it is a 1 1 a 1 1 is not 0 so this is a 1 2 so here i value is 1 j value is 2 so i value is less than j therefore a 1 2 is 0 and this is a 1 3 so here i value is 1 j value is 3 so i value is less than j so therefore this is 0 so a 1 3 is 0 and here it is a 2 1 i value is 2 j value is 1 so it is i value is more than j so therefore it is not equal to 0 and this is a 2 2 so here i value is 2 j value is 2 they are equal and this is a 2 3 so here i value is 2 j value is 3 therefore here i value is less than j so therefore this is also 0 and this is a 3 1 i value is 3 j value is 1 so i value is more than j and this is a 3 2 i value is 3 j value is 2 i value is more than j and this is a 3 3 i value and j value are equal so therefore all these elements are not zero so therefore a i j equal to zero when i value is less than j here a 1 2 a 1 3 and a 2 3 are zero and other elements are not zero this is called as lower triangular matrix here we have zeros above the diagonal elements all the numbers above the diagonal elements are zeros so this type of matrix is is called as lower triangular matrix so that's all in this video i will continue this chapter explanation in next video watch other chapter videos in my youtube channel akriti mathematics classes thank you for watching please like share and subscribe the channel for more video notification subscribe my youtube channel akriti mathematics classes thank you once again